Yiddish dance was created so old and young and everybody, even somebody with two left feet, can join in. It's not so much about the steps as about creating simcha, joy and excitement and patterns on the dance floor and circles and squares and contralines. We sing, we tell stories. I'm just a klezmatic Meshuggah. is kind of like a candy bar, sort of it's sweetness and smooth and chewy and crunchy and it just feels in your mouth like this succulent thing. A song that's written in a particular language has a certain resonance in it. The, the consonants or the vowels carry through in a particular way. I moved here from New York about two years ago and I was told that there wasn't any Yiddish culture in California to be had. And now I'm here and I'm able to express myself in Yiddish, to interact with other people who create Yiddish culture. It's, it's uh, dos is a shen azach, as they would say. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Is this Polish music? Is it Hungarian? Is it Romanian? Is it German, Russian? Po what is it? And we say, yes, it is that. In this class, I'm, I'm trying to teach musicians of very different levels on their instrument to be able to put a regional or Jewish sound on the music they've come here to play. Typical to a lot of the Ukrainian fiddle players, the lower string is sometimes used for rhythm. <laughs> We, we did a play called How Does the Tsar Drink Tea or Via Zoy to Think They're the Case of the Tea. It's based on an old Yiddish folk song by the same name. I had in mind something that was funny for kids to do and something that would teach them a little bit of exactly why things happen the way they happen. What is it about the Golan legend that made it stick around for thousands of years? How is speech depicted here? How is Shaul Malachem depicting speech? <laughs> The 
first klezmer tune I ever learned was a tune called Tatar Shirlonga, which uh, Varetsky passed as a good rendition of, but I learned it from my housemates in Santa Cruz. It's not something that I was surrounded by growing up so much as it's something that I came to in my adult life. Um, and so coming here allows me to be friends with the people who are doing this music in real time, like right now. I danced, I listened to the beautiful music. There's something that is not only emotional, but something that brings people together. And um, it basically carried us with it. Yeah. 